Hi everyone, Sport here, continuing School of the Roses all cards gone playthrough, uh, where I have been asked to destroy the game, so we're playing Insects. Um, so the one thing I want to do is I want to get the hidden card. Um, the hidden card on this field is right behind this guy. So <clears throat> we're gonna go around. This is a pretty good start, um, and we also drew a Heavy Storm, which is an excellent card against this guy, because we can kill all of his back row. We unfortunately did not draw a Goblin Fan, which would have been insanely good to draw here. Uh, I'm going to save the Goblin Secret Remedy. Unfortunate. Well, that Gorgon's Eye is a problem. Okay, no Ryoku. That's actually a real big problem. Hopefully... I don't have an MNFF, though. is a card. Perfect. Um, I can't ever actually put this pupa of moth in defense until I get rid of this goblin fan. But he might have just died here. Oh, he did. The Ryoku. You know, I really wanted a Ryoku. Oh, wait, Ryoku's just a three in a row of a Mega Morph. Oh well. I should have three in a row of the Mega Morph. Oh well. Or at least I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Oh, well, I wasn't going to have the deck cost to really play that for until we got to, like, Yugi, so it doesn't matter too much. Go ahead and speed through this part here. We won the first half of the game. And I will be right back. Okay. Okay. Skipped all of the end credits. Uh, now we have a reincarnation to do, so I'm gonna go BRB again. Um, so go ahead and reincarnate something around 20 again. Mushroom Man will be fine, so be right back. Okay, uh, I ended up getting a Dharma Cannon, which we won't use now, but. When we go to Grandpa, we'll probably throw that in the deck, and it'll be a good card for us. Uh, we need to drop our deck cost by like 50, it looks like. Which, that should be pretty easy. We have some mini cats that we can get rid of. And I can just toss in the curse breaker. Oh, it is a shame we didn't get that Ryoku, but I'm not too worried about it. Now, all of, um, the people on this side. I don't care about getting cards from them for a while. Like, their hidden cards aren't very useful, um, and we pretty much have all of the good cards that we want to play the game right now, so... Oh, this is a big spoiler. 
and unfortunately for this guy, or for Taya, Big Spider is a very strong card. Oh. Oh no. Poor dance, you know. I spotted Lethal, so I'm gonna take Lethal. It's very roundabout, but we got there. There were other Lethals available there, too. But that was just the easiest to see. Oh, the three in a row and got a Dark Magician. While good, I don't really intend to use Dark Magician in an insect playthrough. I mean, I don't know. Would I call Dark Magician good? Dark Magician doesn't have the support cards in this game to make it even remotely okay. Um... I think we can take out that curse breaker and put in that mimic cat. And then do another reincarnation. So, I'll reincarnate Liquid Beast and be right back. Okay, I am just gonna take the Dimension Hole. Um, Dimension Hole's an okay card, so I'm just that's all I'm gonna care about. It's okay. I'm probably not even going to ever use it, but it is an okay enough card to use, so. It's uh, very good for going fast, um, and um, also it's really good against uh, human opponents so that you can actually, you know, get away from them. It might give you time to set up, or it might also just give you a lethal. It is pretty terrifying how quick you can kill your opponent in this game, so... Um, this looks like a problem for our opponent. I... Okay, so we can summon our card next turn. Uh, he is turbo dead next turn. Well, I guess he's not dead, but like, it's gonna hurt a lot. He's at a hundred. He's just dead. There is no surviving this. I either summoned a card or I played an eye armor from hand. Or, so I either summoned a card and played eye armor and killed him this way, or I flipped the mini cat, revived the eye armor, and killed him directly with the 5,000 attack eye armor. Yeah, um, sorry, Tristan.
Uh, but my creatures are a little bit stronger than yours. One early, sad. Three in a row in this mod are pretty mediocre, though, so not something that you really have to get. Um, the special three in a rows are pretty good, like the ones for the rituals, the ones for um, insects and stuff, but a lot of the regular ones, like the average, is pretty terrible. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reincarnate Bolt Penguin and be right back. Well, I finally got another Darkness Approaches. I'm not going to use it, of course, but I figure I'll just stop there. There's so many cards in the Reincarnation Pool, and we have to do so many of them that I'm not too worried about it. I don't want the hidden card here. Um, the hidden card on this field is Harpy Feather Duster. Uh, Heavy Storm is literally just a better version of the card. Um, I don't play many traps face down, so I don't care about hitting my own cards usually. I control when I'm activating it and usually use Heavy Storm to go for game. This is really bad for her. They effectively killed her creature, played a 2600 that is strong on Mountain Field, a space further closer to her, and attacked her directly. It's a, it's a ridiculously strong card, Jowls is. It's a better effect than Maneater Bug, and Maneater Bug has one of the better effects in this game. We're gonna do this aggressively. This should push her towards the wall. If she kills Pupa, that's fine for me, because I get a great mock for it. And now, she dies. As merit control's fine. Oh, she's not dead yet, I guess. Hmm, unfortunate. We're gonna go my... That's another trap. My moth is bigger than her, so... Uh, we just do this. I move this first. Not a trap. Okay, cool. She's dead. Yeah, uh, Pupa of Moth is a really good card. Worst case, you just get a great moth. And for two stars, a Great Moth is pretty good. Mm. Oh, hey, we get a Feather Duster. I, the fact that Tiger Axe is in the three in a row pool is kind of sad to me. I don't know why it's put in the three in a row pool, but... Just, uh, get through this Mako cutscene, and then we can go save and do a reincarnation.
We've already been through, what, four opponents so far today? Um, yeah. We're making great pace, even though I'm not really trying to go quickly. Um, it's just this deck runs over the game so absolutely. Hey, they made that Harpy's Feather Duster 50. It's still terrible. Uh, here, let's see here. We'll just reincarnate this Tiger Axe because... Oh, that's why. Because it has alternate arts if you get it in the three in a row. That's why. Um, yeah. I'm getting rid of this thing. BRB. Okay, we got ourselves a Mooka Mooka and a Paralyzing Potion. Uh, I'm not really putting Mooka Mookas in this deck because I'm not really doing as much fusions. Uh, Paralyzing Potion is also a decent card, but I don't really have room for it. But uh, those are just two more actually excellent cards that uh, you can always consider putting in your deck. So just reincarnating for good cards. Cards that are good enough situationally that I'd consider playing them. I am very sorry about this, Mako. This might be over in two more turns. Actually, it's probably over in two more turns, but... Let's see what I draw. Because this could be a pretty brutal turn. Oh. Oh. I drew a card that's better than the Pugum that was on my field. Oh no. Uh, Ty goes to attacker, by the way, so it's better to attack if you have a field transform effect like mine. I think this is game over, though. Yeah. When your perfectly ultimate great moth is overshadowed by another creature. That is a that is a sad day for your opponent. Well, we gotta carry you, Shin, I guess. Nothing really is going to be valuable from Mako. I mean, most of the valuable stuff is basically ritual cards in this. And the card that the, the ritual card fuses with. But I'm playing insects, and I don't want javelin beetles, so... Uh, because they're... Effectively, they're just a weaker card than anything else in my deck right now. Which is super sad. Um, do I even want to reincarnate? Let's do something low. Imagine gun. B or B. Well, for once, I got a card that I might actually want to play in Green Kappa. Um, can I even fit that in my deck? Not really. I have so many monsters in here. Like, I, I don't really want to try to fit it in. I mean, I could take out a goblin fan for it, but eh, it's fine. I, as I've said, like, our deck is already basically perfect. The only thing I want is, like, two more jowls, and they have been proving very elusive for me. Uh, well, I guess I will take out, uh, let's see, where is Puggle? You for you. Okay. We are fixing our deck fast problem really quick. Um, also, I continue to reincarnate the low deck cost cards uh, because we have to deal with the Kura still. Um, and the only cards that I actually would consider wanting 
up at the high deck cost is like mini cats and um, monster reborns. And that's about it. And I mean, this game is giga over. I, this is this hand just said this game's over. Sorry, Joey. I mean, to be fair, the majority of hands that I can even have are this game's over, but. Like, this is more over than most of the hands, and it's pretty over. Yeah, um, I don't think that mattered. This is just about as brutal as you can be to this game, though. Um... Honestly, getting Baby Dragon is actually pretty decent. Um, if you're playing a lot of other decks, Baby Dragon's not good in this deck, of course, but uh, Baby Dragon as a dragon, and it's only three stars, like, and it works for Stone Defusions, and it also works for um, the Karyushin Fusions, so, like, and Sea King Dragon Fusions, and, you know, it's a decent card. Uh, unfortunately we didn't get it. Um, let's see. Let's do another reincarnation of one of the lower deck cost ones because it seemed to work a little bit better last time, so be right back. Okay, everyone. I just grabbed a Magician of Faith. Uh, it's one of the best cards in the game, so... You know, it's always a consideration um, to put in a deck. Uh, whoops, I need to... Uh, we don't have the deck cost to put that Pugum back in, so... We'll just go here, beat up Shoddy. Yeah, this has uh, been pretty much a brutal playthrough. This side has gone... I mean, both sides have gone pretty smoothly, but... Oh! <clears throat> um... I almost feel bad for Shoddy here. Yeah, I'm just going to do one of these. We'll move Maneater Bug forward first, just in case there's a trap that I'm pretty sure there isn't. Oh, he played a Dark Piercing Light. That may be a big creature. It's unfortunate for him that my creature is significantly larger. And now he's dead. Goodbye. Just killed that to put it in the graveyard. Uh, not that it's going to matter, because I'm going to actually go for a three in a row here. I'm going to try to three in a row that Dark Piercing Light, so... We'll just save state for it, since we've been doing enough save stating, we might as well. Just so I can get myself a copy of Swords of Revealing Light.
is not an unfair card at all. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. I didn't even need to save save. Yeah, Swords of Revealing Light is unchanged and Okay. So we have healed most of everybody on this side already. Uh, go ahead and edit our deck a little bit here. Um, so for this next duel, uh, we don't need Goblin Fan. Well, actually Goblin Fan's really good in this matchup because that's pretty much his only win condition. But um, my plan is to not let it get that far. Um, so I'm going to put in a password. We're going to go grab a password for Dharma Cannon. I should have looked this up beforehand, but I didn't think we were going to get nearly this far today, so... We have kind of obliterated everybody, which is about what is expected. So, there's the double Dharma Cannon. Um, if you really want to be safe, I mean, I think I will be. Uh, let's see here, 25. We'll just put in a Goblin Fan, one of. That should be enough. Um, I got rid of a Green Kappa. Green Kappa doesn't really matter in this matchup. I mean, pretty much the only thing that matters in this matchup is the Dharma Cannons, so. Go ahead and do a Reincarnation uh, real quick here. Let's see. Let's try dig, uh, dig Beak. So be right back. Well, I'm ending on a Dimension Core. Um, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.